What is up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to load an amazingly organized bounce house trailer. It's easier, it's faster, and it's better looking when you ride down the road. I'm Nick Glassett, owner of the Jump Off. Let's get loaded. Dude, these things are always tangled. Good Lord. Come on. All right, so today I'm gonna to be loading slides on the trailer here using, uh, this is my favorite dolly. This is the Super Mover dolly from Spacewalk. This is what I use to load the trailer from the storage unit every time. So the jump off is still ran out of two different storage units here. And so the reason I love this is two. Number one, these big forklift style forks make it super easy to get the slides off the pallets. So I keep the water slides on pallets just so they can drain. And it just feels better to have them on pallets instead of concrete in my brain. I don't know why, but the notion is that they can drain. The other reason is because this dolly, just the way that it's set up with the wheelbase like this, it's mega easy to get this dolly up the ramp. And so I can load slides super quick. You know, the thing that takes the longest when I'm doing this, no joke, is just organizing the tarps and the blowers. Let's go grab our first slide out of the storage and then I'm gonna show you how I use the super mover to load this up and then showing you how I transport the slides on the trailer because I do it a very unique way where the slides all stand up. I don't push them over because I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a little dude. I'm like 150 pounds. I hate having to lift them up, you know, lift the slides back up and then you tip them over and you lift them back up and you got to get the dolly back under them. We don't do any of that around here. We do this the easy way. Let's go grab our first slide out of the storage and let's get this sucker loaded. All right, so this is my water slide storage unit. It is 12 by 20, and as you can see, I got the pallets here. So our first slide that's going on, a Tiki combo. It's a water slide bounce house combo, and I keep it organized with the blower and the tarp all here. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my blower and my tarp, and I'm gonna get those staged, and then we're gonna take the slide off the pallet with the dolly, and dolly it over there and get it loaded on. This is the last slide to go out, so it's the first slide to go on. Obviously, you load your trailer in order. <laughs> Here we go. Big old 2.0 blower. All right, here we go. Get this on the pallet. Get my forks under the slide like that. And then what I'll do is just use a little bit of leverage. There we go. And then I can get my forks nice and under it. Since I'm up on a ledge, it's super easy. Just pulls right back, bang. And then I rotate and we head on out to the trailer. Nice and easy. I got the slide staged up over there and the trailer's right behind me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a little bit of a run at it. It's no Olympic sprinter thing or anything, okay? But I'm just gonna get a little bit of a run at it. And what I do is I pop a wheelie right before the ramp. And as I come up like this, that first wheel is just gonna go right up on the ramp and be smooth. So check this out. A Little bit of a run, pop a wheelie. No effort. So what I'm gonna do then, is I'm gonna line up my slide right here on the edge. And I got my blowers across the front. So I'm gonna drop the slide right in front of that blower, nice and easy. Make sure she's all set. Now I pull my dolly out. There we go, one slide on. This trailer is getting six slides to go out tomorrow. So we're gonna repeat that process basically five more times, and now I'm gonna show you guys how I tie this down. All right, so next up we have Purple Crush. Where are you, Purple Crush? Right here. Nice little guy here, only a 300 pounder, so let's get that on. So I've got my tarps in order. So you've got Tiki, then you've got Purple Crush. The blowers, they just go on the front. I keep them in order like that because then I stack them in the truck depending on which one gets dropped off first. All right, let's load up. Purple crush. One, two, three. Out we go. She's a little bottom heavy. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a different angle on loading this one. So here we go, check it out. All right. Then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna drop it right next to Tiki Combo. Get it in there nice and tight. 
And there we go. So now I've got both the slides touching. That's perfect. And then I've got enough room in the front there to keep running my blowers right across that front rail. So we're gonna take our dolly out, go get slide number three. All right, next up, we have Curve, 500 pound beast. Let's get it on. So sometimes with these four or 500 pound slides, you've got to strap them to the dolly. I've got D-rings I had welded onto both these dollies. So with these big, big, big ones like this, sometimes I gotta strap them on there just to make sure that I get it off safely. But we'll see how it goes. Broke the pallet. So the last thing I wanna do is tip this 500 pounder over because I am here alone. Okay, so now I got it at the edge of the pallet. I'm ready to drop onto the wheels. Go, go, go. There we go. Boom. No problemo. Up. Yeah, so you pop a wheelie. That way I can maneuver when I come out of this storage unit, turn the corner real quick. Now this one is heavy, real heavy. So you're gonna see this in action and we're gonna get a good run at it here. Boom. Even though it's 500 pounds, still no problemo. So because this one's so big, I'm actually gonna drop it right in the middle. So this one's so big, I'm actually gonna drop it in the middle of the front two slides. So you got Tiki and you got Purple Crush. I'm dropping it right in between the two so that way they all touch. And then the next two slides I load are both uh, 18 footers, not nearly as big as this, but I'm hoping I can get those side by side behind this one. But if not, there's a 14 foot trailer. It's not that big of a deal. We'll just do one, one, and one. I got this trailer made so it's 14 feet long and six wide. I got it custom made for what I thought I needed. Kind of turns out I wish I would have had a 6.4 or a six and a half wide so then I could fit these big slides side by side. So if you're asking my opinion, get a 6.4 by 10 or 12. That's as big as you're gonna need to load the slides the way I load the slides where they're standing up. You just don't need as much space, you know what I mean? When you're knocking them over, they take up two, three times the amount of room than when they stand up. So you can get away with getting a smaller trailer, but I would get 6.4 by 10 or 6.4 by 12. Easy, buddy. Dude, so that's three down, two to go. The sixth slide is over at my house. I totally forgot. It actually goes in front of curve, so I feel bad for the guys. They're gonna have to take it off and put it back on a whole bunch of times tomorrow, but it's kind of like, it is what it is. When you run a bounce house company out of two storage units down the street from your house, stuff's in the wrong place sometimes. You kind of got to roll with it, so it's all good, though. I pay them good, so they'll be okay. All right, dude. Next on our list, we have Tiki Plunge, 18 footer. Tiki Plunge, here we go. Nice and tight, looks good. Next up, Big Kahuna XL, 17 footer. Boom, no problemo. Onward. All right, let's get our run at it. See if we can drop it next to the green one. Ooh, tight. Back up. Got to save room for wipeout. There we go. Okay, we're all good. We're all loaded. That is the process of physically loading the slides. I've been doing it that way for a long time. I really like it. I have no plans on changing anytime soon. I know there's a million different ways you can do this. I'm not saying this is the right way. This is just the right way for me. But there you go. We got five slides loaded on the trailer. Now let me show you how to tie these down with the ratchet straps. Dude, these things are always tangled. Good Lord. Come on. We're gonna take a cam strap like this one and we're gonna hook it to these front two slides. So I'm just gonna hook it to Tiki Combo, run it around this front rail, hook it to Purple Crush, get it. A little bit tight, but nothing crazy, okay? The reason we're gonna do that. Dude, I'm almost done loading this trailer. I'm almost done shooting this video. My freaking camera's overheating. So I'm in the truck trying to cool it off. I hope this will cool down quickly because I got a whole other trailer to load up. While we're in here, overheating, right? I'm covered in sweat too. Remind you, you can always DM me your questions on Instagram. I reply to every DM I get. Of course, same with comments. Comment down below. 
any questions, any comments, whatever you got, let me know. And then, dude, come on, it's YouTube. I gotta ask you to subscribe. I gotta ask you to hit the bell. But please, it means the world to me when you do. I'm trying to grow the channel, and I've been helping a lot of people. I'm getting the DMs from a lot of you guys, asking questions from everything from what units to buy, what kind to buy, what brand to buy, to insurance, and all sorts of everything in between. How to roll a slide. It's been awesome. It's been amazing. I'm trying to pump out content as fast as I can. But please subscribe up so you don't miss any more great bounce house and water slide content. Thank you. All right, it appears to be cooled down now. Let's see if we can finish this video. All right, I switched sides with the camera. So now it's in the shade. So hopefully it won't overheat. So see if we can get this sucker done, huh? The reason that we're going to tie this down with the cam strap, these front two slides, is to keep them from drifting. So what's going to happen is as you drive down the road, the slides on your trailer tend to tilt backwards like this. And they'll all start falling your trailer can just kind of explode and become a mess. This tie down at the front like this keeps these two stable. So they're almost like two pillars at the front and you can wrap everything else out around it and it's not going anywhere. So this is crucial. So we're gonna do two more things. So number one, I've got a long ratchet strap. This is a 15 footer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come across the top of the dolly like this. And then I'm gonna tie down to my bottom rail down here to keep this sturdy. It's putting forward pressure on the dolly. Pull her strap nice and tight, ratchet her down. Now what that does is as this ratchet strap comes across here this way and I have them both tied down forward, it's pulling the dolly forward as much as it can, okay? And then what we do, we're gonna take another cam strap, we're gonna hook it to the top here, and we're gonna run this down to the rail down here. So it's going to pull backwards on the dolly. So now you've got forward pressure on the dolly. You've got backwards pressure on the dolly. This dolly's going nowhere. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna take another ratchet strap and go from this D-ring all the way around the slides to this D-ring and hook them all together. So then you've got forward pressure, backwards pressure. You've got the two tied down at the front and then they're all wrapped together. So they're just like one big giant bounce house at this point. They're not going anywhere. I've got a ratchet strap here and we're gonna run it all the way around the other side. All right, coming around, hook it up here, pull her tight, ratchet it down. Beautiful, tie off our slack, bam. And our trailer is all set. Now let me walk you around and show you what it looks like. All right, here's the front of the trailer. You got your cam tied on holding everything up. You got your blowers, okay? We're gonna come down this edge. All your slides are touching. Got all your tie downs there. Here's your tie down holding the dolly. Here's everything wrapping around the slides and you are all set to go. And look how beautiful that trailer looks. So the reason I load my trailers like this is three different reasons. Number one, as I mentioned earlier, I'm a skinny dude. I don't wanna dip them over and then have to pick them back up. It's just a lot of work. I'd rather ratchet strap them. The other reason is it keeps everything organized and it looks good. So that means traveling down the road, right? Everybody knows these are inflatables. Everybody knows these are water slides. It's July. So as I ride down the road, we got magnets on the truck. It looks good to people driving down the road and makes a good impression to would-be customers that are going to see our traveling billboard go down the road. Okay. And then the third reason is almost out of necessity. First trailer I ever had uh, when the jump off was super small was a four by eight. It was teeny tiny. It had these little teeny wheels that were like 10 speed wheels. It was sketchy, man. I overloaded it so many times I finally busted it. But in order to load that trailer, this was the only way I could get more than basically one slide on it. So I kind of quote unquote invented this maneuver out of necessity. And then as the jump off grew and I got bigger trailers and stuff, I just kept doing it because in my opinion, it's way easier. So easier, looks better. And then I kind of had to. All right, and then real quick, kind of show you how I organize the bed of the truck for the deliveries. These are awesome, dude, these rigid pro boxes. So this holds all the stakes and stake bag, my three pound hammer. I got my pry bar I bought from uh, Harbor Freight, painted it red so I don't lose it in the grass. Then I got this little plastic ammo box and that holds my tarp stakes. This is a little low. The other truck's overflowing with cords. I got to move some over, but there's extension cords, tie downs, those are my yard signs, and then there's my tarps, and these are a little messy looking, but they're in order of drop-offs. And then this bucket is just extra stuff right here. It's 
got a winch in it. It's got an extra tarp. It's got spare tire for the dolly. It's got O-rings for hoses, all sorts of stuff, uh, extra hoses, all that. But so that's how I keep the bed of the truck organized for, do, for the drop-offs. All right, so there we go. Trailer is locked and loaded and beautiful. So we are gonna roll on out of here, tuck this sucker into the garage at the house, and then tomorrow morning it rolls out at 645. As always, thanks for watching. If I brought you any value, hit that subscribe button, share the videos with your friends, tell everybody how cool I am. This channel is going absolutely amazingly. It's blowing every expectation I ever had, and it's because of you guys. Love you guys. Peace. Hopefully, get this shot. Nothing better than have to walk back for your camera.